the big winner joins us now, Christina O'Donnell from Delaware. Good morning. Thank you for getting up so early and congratulations. Did Sarah Palin make the difference here? Thank you, George. Yes, she did. Uh, all summer we've been working very hard to get our message out there, give the voters an opportunity to meet me, get to know me, so that I've been asking them when you vote for me, I want you, I want that vote to mean something. I want it to be a, a vote of confidence. And so when the mudslinging started, I was very encouraged that what a lot of people said was we knew that what your opponent was putting out wasn't reflective of who we, who we know you to be. And when, when Governor Palin stood up and so boldly made a statement that she supported me, it allowed them to get past the politics of personal destruction, to look at the message and look at the fact that I wanted to make this race about the issue, how we're going to get jobs back in Delaware, you're, how we're going to defend the homeland of our security. And, and she helped to bring it back on track. You're going to need all the help she can give right now. She's going to need to raise some money for you because we just heard John Carl say the National Republican Party is not going to give you any funds. Well, that's a shame, you know, but, but they never thought that I can win this race, and I believe that we can win without them. This is about giving the political power back to we, the people, and we proved the so-called experts wrong. So I think a, a few of them perhaps may have their pride hurt this morning, but, you know, I, I didn't count on the establishment to win the but primary. I'm not counting on them to win the general. I'm counting on the voters of Delaware, and we're going to work hard to make sure that we take our message to them. But you are going to have to answer some questions. We saw that the Republican Party chairman in John Carl's piece there, he went on to say later that you're not a viable candidate. You cannot be elected dog catcher in Delaware. He went on to say <laughs> you're either a liar or mentally unhinged. And, and, and Karl Rove, uh, President <laughs> Bush's uh, former uh, political advisor, was on Fox News last night, very tough, talking about right. your checkered background, saying you say some nutty things. And listen, uh, he went on to say you have to answer these questions. Why did she do mislead voters about uh, her college education? Why, how, did it, how come it took her nearly two decades to pay her college bills so she could get her college degree? How does she make a living? Why did she sue a well-known oh, and well-thought-of conservative think tank? Can you answer those questions? You know what? Yeah, everything that he's saying is unfactual. And, and it's a shame because he's the same so-called political guru that predicted I wasn't going to win. And we won, and we won big. So I think, again, you know, he's, he's eating some humble pie, and he's, he's just trying to restore his reputation. But again, I'm counting on the voters in Delaware. Like I said, this is about giving the political process back to the people. People are tired of what's going on in Washington, these failed policies that don't represent them. My Republican opponent did not have a record to stand on. He supported the Democrats more than he supported the Republicans. And when we started gaining momentum and we started gaining credibility in this race, it made the Republican establishment look like lazy people who did not care about their principles. But I hope that we can put that behind this because if they're really serious about winning, I was ahead in the general election, according to Rasmussen, before this Republican cannibalism started. So if they were serious about winning, we could repair the damage done and move forward. And that's the challenge that I put out to them. You call it Republican but if not, I, I truly believe that we can win. You call it Republican cannibalism and I'm said sorry, what Karl Rove said was unfactual, but it, it is true that you've had conflicting statements about uh, your college record that you had been the, the big issues in the campaign was failure to pay back <laughs> taxes failure to pay campaign know, debts no, that, failure to pay your mortgage true. so can We've you clear that all up this stuff Absolutely, absolutely. And first, let me say that they also said that Ronald Reagan wasn't electable. We've addressed all of this stuff on our website. It took me 12 years to pay off my college degree uh, college loans. I'm not a trust fund baby. Most Delawareans can relate to having to work hard to pay for their own college education. I was never dishonest about that. They, they made up an accusation about an IRS tax lien. The IRS said, oops, it was a mistake. They cleared it right away. We presented my opponent and the Republican establishment with all the documentation that is also on my website showing them that the IRS had admitted to a computer error. They chose to ignore the truth because they don't have a record to stand on. And it's humiliating when the party gets behind this guy who they say is the only one who can win but doesn't stand for anything that the Republican Republican Party stands for. So they have to cling to these baseless accusations. And it's a shame because I want to go into this general election 
telling the Delaware voters the proposals that I want to introduce in Washington to get jobs back into Delaware, to get our economy back on track, to take care of our veterans. And as we move forward, I hope that my Democratic opponent learns the same lesson that my Republican opponent learned, that dirty politics will backfire in a state like Delaware where it's small enough to get to know all of the voters that's exactly what we intend to do this okay. next month and a half it won't it didn't work for Castle it won't work for the Democrats and we will be watching congratulations again thanks for your time this morning thank you thank you